In our previous video in Telco Softwareization, we discussed about NFP. In fact, we discussed about an example of NFP. In this video, we are going to talk about the standards involved with NFP. In fact, we are going to talk about ETSI NFP architecture. ETSI stands for European Telecommunication Standards Institute and they are the ones who actually define NFP. Let's look at the ETSI NFP architecture. Basically, it has three main components. The first one is the NFV infrastructure or in short NFVI. The second one is VNF or there could be multiple VNFs, virtual network functions and also element manager or there could be multiple element managers. The third piece is actually the NFV management and orchestration or NFV Mano in short. So these are the three components, the main components of the HC NFE architecture. The NFEI, VNF, including element managers, and then NFE Mano part. Let's look at the NFEI first. We have hardware resources, which includes computing hardware, storage hardware, and also network hardware so that is the hardware resource component of the NFEI in fact this is the foundation of the entire NFE architecture and on top of that or with that we have the virtualization layer and this is basically the hypervisor and then you get the virtual components of the NFEI. This includes virtual computing, virtual storage, and virtual network. So we have the physical hardware, which is the green box here. That is the only physical component that we have in this entire NFE architecture, everything else are software components or virtual components so you have the hypervisor and the hypervisor lets you to have the virtual components the virtual compute virtual storage and virtual network and if you look at the architecture we have different reference points or different interconnections sometimes implemented on apis one such reference point is the reference point between the hardware resources and the hypervisor or the virtualization layer. It is named as VI-HA. VI stands for virtual and HA stands for hardware. So this is uh, one of the very important execution reference points in the architecture. Then we have another very important execution reference points between the VNFs and the NFVI that is referred to as VN-NF. If you look at the MANO component, we have first WIM which is the Virtualized Infrastructure Manager which actually manages the virtual infrastructure it includes functions like controlling, managing, and monitoring the NFVI, which includes compute, storage, and networking resources. And also the virtualization layer, which is the virtualization software, your hypervisor, and the virtual components like virtual computing, virtual storage, and virtual networking. So WIM takes care of the management of the virtual infrastructure. And Vim also connected to the NFVI through uh, reference points and these reference points are referred to as main NFV reference points and in this case this is NF-VI. Another piece, another functional block within the architecture and also within the MANO uh, block is the VNF manager or VNFM. 
there could be multiple vnf managers in the case uh, of a real implementation but in this case we are just considering one vnf manager and vnf manager is actually taking care of the life cycle management of vnfs basically so this includes the instantiation of vnfs scaling of vnfs upgrading and updating vnfs and also the termination of vnfs so vnf manager is actually connected using a main nfv reference points which is uh, this reference points uh, between vnf and vnfm and there is another reference point between vnfm and the element manager there could be multiple connections uh, depending on the case if you have multiple element managers and multiple uh, vnf and vnf managers the third piece within the mano block is the NFV orchestrate or NFVO functional block. So if you really look at how the NFVO is connected to the other functional blocks within the MANO block itself and also outside the MANO block, you will understand the function of NFVO. First NFVO is connected to virtual infrastructure manager. It is also connected to VNF manager and if you really look at it is also connected to the operator networks OSS BSS which stands for operator support system and business support system which is something external to the architecture but still it is shown in the main reference architecture so MANO is actually or rather the NFVO is actually connected to the external OSS BSS as well and if you really look at we have another connection between vnfm and vim or the vim so in reference to this if you look at how the nfvo is connected on one side it is connected to the vim on the other side it is connected to the vnf manager or multiple vnf managers and also it is connected to the external oss and bss so it actually does this orchestration part where it actually orchestrates between uh, and within multiple uh, functional blocks. Other than the execution reference points and the main NFV reference points, we also have other reference points uh, which are actually not named by the HC NFV architecture but they are also shown in the architecture since they are also important in a uh, real life implementation one such reference point is the reference point between oss bss and the element manager depending on the operator implementation it could be uh, something open or it could be a closed proprietary interface and also we have another reference point between the oss bss and also with there's another one between element manager and the VNF as well and if you really look further on the NFV MANO part which is one of the key components of the HC NFV architecture we have several other functional blocks one is the NFV catalog the other one is network service catalog and then we have NFVI resources NFV instances etc. These are all connected using reference points to the NFV O and if you really take the NFV catalog it is uh, connected to the NFV uh, sorry the VNF manager as well. Other than that we also have service VNF and infrastructure description so this is nothing but a template where it is it describes the services the VNFs and the infrastructure so this is all together what HCNFV architecture is and as we discussed there are three main components one is the NFVI the second one is the VNF and third one is the NFV MANO and within that we have several functional blocks working uh, together uh, through very well defined reference points implemented uh, using multiple APIs. 
and the foundation here is the NFVI and within that the foundation is actually the hardware resources uh, that is the only tangible asset if you say uh, we can see in this architecture everything else including the hypervisor virtualization layer and all the other functional blocks are implementations of software components or virtual components. I hope now it's clear to you what Etsy NFE architecture is. The components associated with that and the functional blocks associated with that and the specific functions these blocks actually doing in the architecture. In our next video, we will look at another aspect of Telco Softwareization. Till then, goodbye.